versus Floyd Mayweather is the ridiculousness part of the fun of this. Yeah, bro, this is fucking crazy. Like, look around. We already defied the odds. Like, we already did it. You already winning, right? Bro, when my manager said, hey, man, like a year ago, he goes, hey, would you ever fight Floyd Mayweather? I was, I laughed. Like all of you when you first saw the head. I said, I said, <laughs> don't, don't I ever laugh. Yeah. I'm never laughing, I'm never <laughs> laughing at him again. <laughs> The bell's gonna ring, I'm gonna go, I'm literally gonna say it loud, I'm gonna go, this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and then just fucking put on a show. Who, who else would you take on? Anyone, anyone, dude. Like, you're that, like, anyone, I just wanna put on big shows. And, like, I really do believe, like, you know, I can talk about my skill all day, but it doesn't matter, I can get past it. It looks mediocre, but until I'm in the ring, until I'm fighting, until I'm sparring, people don't realize that I actually got good at the sport. And I'm gonna say it, say it, say it again until Sunday, and people are gonna be surprised. Old guys, old guys do this all the time. They start late in their career. Yeah, yeah. I'm not even old yet, bro. I started at, uh, you know, 23 and 26 now. It's 
experience under my belt, man. <laughs> Three years. How, how much credibility do you think this is gonna get you to fight like get some, get, get some MMA fighters to come fight you and stuff? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Who's the one boxer you don't want to fight? One boxer, Tyson Fury. I don't want to. Tyson pitched me in my DMs. He's like, Yo, Jake can fight Tommy and you can fight me. I was like, Pass. No. <laughs> what is it that you get right about here? About ten times, twenty times. Is that gonna stop my kids from loving me? Absolutely. Is that gonna stop my mom from loving me? Yeah. If, if I'm able to work, wake up and see another day, I'm still gonna be blessed. Oh. Is my bank account gonna change? <laughs> okay. So you do know there's a lot, of, there's a lot of legends out there that's broke, right? Mm. So would you rather be? Would you rather have a face, a billion dollar face, with no money, or a bunch of money and don't nobody know you? Of course, a bunch of money. Okay, then that's your answer. That's <laughs> why you living your best life and everybody interested. That's all you do is living your best life on this big stage. That was feeling again. Cool. How's it feel to be living your best life on this big stage and everybody interested? I'm not living my best life. I'm living my only life. <laughs> what round are you knocking them out? Because I know all boxers yeah. watching this are, are going to be like, they dislike these guys and they're looking at you to, to knock them out. Um, I'm here to just have fun. You're going to knock them out. I'm here to just have fun and do what I do. No. Uh, you know, uh, people talking about, oh, he's tall. People yeah. talking about, oh, he has a long reach. Go back and look at the uh, Tony Pep fight. Uh, when I was fighting at 130, I fought a guy 6'3". <laughs> Go look at my boxing skills in that fight. <laughs> I'm gonna make it do what it do. That's what I do, I'm Floyd Mayweather. You going into this fight, are you looking to punish him to the body? Because he's a big guy, there's a lot of area there for you to go ahead and punish him. I know with Conor McGregor, you're treating him right to him. I'm thinking with him, you want to come through him as well, target the body? Well, like I said, run into the people down there. He's trying to get that. I'm basically in a no-win situation. Yeah. I mean, in a lot of people's eyes, which I don't mm -hmm. care. Yeah. If I come out and knock the guy out in the first round, you know, people will say it wasn't worth it. If I, let him, if I carry him a few rounds, then I'm like, oh, man, this, was, this was fake. This was, so, you can't please everybody, so I'm going to go out there and do what I do. You can't let him go eight rounds, though, right? Can I do what you want? If I want to let him go eight rounds, I may let him go eight rounds. So are you talking about you wanted to focus on entertainment? Is anything in pro wrestling? Does that interest you? you want to fight at before? Is that something that's done? We don't know. We may do it again. We don't know what the future holds, but we know we're gonna have some fun. Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> sort of camping, you train again. How's your body feeling? Oh, I didn't have no camp. I just go to the gym every once in a while. Yeah. Shake out every once in a while. You know, spar every once in a while. It was so crazy, but it was really sick. Um, I think somebody from my team told me that. Uh, I think my sister. She said everybody said the blood was photoshopped. I was like, man, these people crazy. It's good though. I didn't know nothing about this. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure probably my team or my lawyers was behind that. I'm the money man, so they probably want to get the extra dollars from me. We don't really worry about it. Though. So the size is gonna make a big difference, or do you even care about that? I don't, I'm, actually, I don't really care about the size. I didn't, I didn't, I don't really care if he weighed 190. I mean, I guess um, the Miami Boxing Commission said it had to be some type of, you know, I guess weight clause. But I don't really care about the way he could weigh 240, 250. It didn't matter to me. The results will be the same. Ultimately, this is leading to a fight with his brother. Like, would you want something like that? Or that's something that he, he, he think he can really beat you. So what, what type of fight? What type of fight are you expecting on Sunday, Logan? I don't know. You know, I mean, we're ready for anything. Like uh, Floyd is—he's uh, the king in the sport, and so I imagine.
imagine he's going to try to dictate the pace. I'm going to imagine he's going to try to run the show, and I'm going to make it my fight. You know, uh, I, I, I also imagine he's probably going to be running from me. You, you really think he's going to move around? No, it's little Floyd. <laughs> what? Floyd, you want to trade with me? What? You he want did. to trade shots with me? He did that. Are you going to shit in the middle of the No, no, no. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. He did that with Connor, so I'm thinking that he, he wants to impose himself on you. Bro. Connor McGregor. Me. <laughs> I grew vertically and horizontally. <laughs> Connor McGregor, like Connor McGregor, big name, small guy. Mm -hmm. Big name, small guy. Me. Little name, big guy. Talk, talk about how does it help your brand? You speak in Espanol. Yo, how about the Maverick brand growing? Bro, this is everything. This is everything. Yo, the Maverick brand, everything that I've ever stood for, and this is the epitome of it. Like being the guy who goes right when they go left, the independent one, the unorthodox one. Like, no, no, one, no one in the world thinks I can win this fight, but I fucking do. My team does. That's been my whole mentality with everything I've ever done. I think I could do it, and then I go and get it done. If you go eight speaking, rounds and you don't win, speaking of that, that speaking, of that, yeah. speaking of that, you're a big underdog, bro. Is it worth putting some money on? Would you put your money on yourself? Would I put? My, yeah, fuck yeah, fuck yeah. I, I think it might be illegal to bet on yourself, right? <laughs> yeah. I think there might be some laws against something like that. Logan, but, but it's worth. The journey of redemption, kind of where you came from to yeah. not be in this incredible place. That's the great. That's that's a, that's the greatest. But I mean, you know, um, this is the uh, this is the tail end of a, a redemption arc that I uh, set out to achieve three years ago after after the Tokyo thing, and um, I, I vowed to become a better person offline. And, Worked on myself privately, and it translated into who I am publicly, and my content, and how I portray myself online. And um, you know, for me, this this really does show, and is going to prove to people that you can be at the lowest of the low, whether it's a fault of your own or not, and then never give up. Keep your chin up. Keep uh, you know trucking through the mud, and make shit happen for yourself. And come back. Hey Logan, what fights of Floyd have you seen to help you prepare for this fight? I've seen a lot, you know, I, but I've said this, it's Floyd, bro, he's gonna come with fucking whatever. You know, we gotta be prepared for anything, he's a dog, we got every weapon in the shed. What was the Do you see any holes on him? Oh, it's hot. Yeah, Puerto Rico's hot. Yeah, 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 Puerto Rico's hot. Um, tough kids down there as well. It was a great environment to focus too, man, like no, no distractions. Logan, what do you think makes Floyd Mayweather beatable? What do I think makes him beatable? Yeah. His age, his slow, his ignorance. He, he doesn't think it's possible for him to lose. Newsflash, everyone loses. Everyone's gonna take that shot. They're gonna push themselves a little too far for a little too long, and Floyd may have ran out of time. Are you gonna take chances from the open bell? Just come out? Nah. nah. So you're not gonna make it a street fight? Uh, I'm not, strategic. strategic. I play chess with my fists. Like, I'm, a, I'm a boxer, you know, I'm not a brawler. Logan, do you think it goes the distance? Nah. No, what round is that? Six. six. You're going about, uh, what is it, uh, Possibly <laughs> maybe Conor McGregor after this. Uh, he's got a big fight against Tony. What do you think about that? And your chances of uh, taking on Conor McGregor. Would that be MMA or boxing? Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd box Conor. He's, he's pretty good at MMA. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, bro. I'd take on anyone. Like, I think I think a Conor fight would be crazy. I kind of got to not step on my brother's toes because he was trying to maybe make that fight happen. And I got to respect him. Jake wants to fight Conor. But, you know. After I beat Floyd, sure, put Connor on the hit list. Fuck it. Logan, if you beat up Floyd Mayweather, would you be willing to step in and, and do an exhibition with Canelo? With who? If you're able to beat Floyd with yeah. Canelo, would you be willing to? Canelo? Yeah. Boxing? No, but I'll, I'll do MMA with Canelo. MMA? Yeah, for sure. But I'll, guess what? He'll never do it. He'll never do, he's he's tough not? in his sport, but he'll never do MMA. That'd be crazy. So what you say? What was he in the cage anytime soon? That, is that next for the yeah, Mavic brand? Floyd, you, you called this a legalized bank robbery. What did you mean by that? Um, I did something I wanted to do. Something that, nothing is never forced, but something that I wanted to do. Um, something that made me work out a little bit, you know what I'm saying? And I'm able to push myself and, and just uh, move around with a guy that's tall, that think he's he's strong and he, he's banking on his youth. It's good, you know? You guys have, at least you and you, have seen this over and over and over and over again. Oh, this is what I'm gonna do. Oh, I'm gonna get a lucky shot. You've seen guys come out and keep pressure. You've seen guys try to box. You've seen guys try to counter punch. The results will always be the same. Boy, how much do you expect It doesn't matter. Weight, weight doesn't win fights. When, when heavy, when you got, you got one heavyweight, 
that weigh 200, and another heavyweight that weigh 260. And the guy at 200 wins, we don't say, oh, it's a weight, it's a, it's a weight disadvantage. I don't worry about that. I don't cry. I don't complain. I just go out there and do what I do. Yeah, you've sparred with Earl Spence. You obviously beat Manny Pacquiao. What are your thoughts on Pacquiao fighting Spence? Um, I just told the guys down there, I wish both of the guys nothing but the best. But Errol Spence, I want to see him win. I'm pushing for Errol Spence to win. Absolutely, that's my people. I'm going to always stand behind my people first. Just like the, the, you know, the Philippines, they're going to stand behind Pacquiao. I'm in America, I'm going to stand behind my people first. When you beat uh, Logan on Sunday, the next question is going to be, Jake, does he get revenge? Is that something you thought of? You do it again against the other brother? Man, once again, these guys have done good. I take my hat off to these guys. They have done good to fool the public about, about being some real fighters. Man, you gonna find out Sunday, man. This is the truth. This is real, man. And I ain't gotta, and I ain't gotta use my A game. I ain't gotta use my A game, my B game, my C game. I can use my Z game. You know, you gotta hit him hard. And the result's gonna be the same. That's what I keep saying all day. That's what happens, man. That's what I do. I mean, at the end of the day, I really could have kicked him out the boxing gym the other day, but I didn't. You know what I'm saying? I didn't. Ask him how I look. Ask him. Thank you. Right here. I kicked him out. Hey, you kicked me out. You did. Oh, yeah. And I'd love to come back. I did. No, I didn't say don't ever come back. You my guy. You know that. I no, I said I'd love to come back. I did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> NFT. 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 I heard you just dropped What does that mean? Well, my NFT. I know I was number one for for some days. <laughs> so hopefully, you guys go check out my NFT. It dropped. I think like a few days ago. Could have been a week ago. My NFT dropped. So I want you guys to go check it out. You got. You got to. You got to purchase my NFT. Be a part of history, I mean, Mr. TBE. Hey, speaking of money, speaking of money, Floyd, knockouts at minus 160. Is it worth putting some money in? And I know you like betting that money. <laughs> you guys will see. <laughs> Floyd, tell me. We know, we know you carry Conor McGregor. Will you carry Logan Paul too? We don't get the people to show. We have to get the people to show. The people deserve a show. Because if you, if these people pay their money, and the fight ended in the first round. They're going to be upset. Thanks, guys. Thanks, boy. Thank you. Tank, Tank, Javante Tank Davis. This month, check him out. Come on, get down, get down. Don't do that again with that red camera, dude. Oh, Thank you.